Hey pilots, Delaney here with Maverick and let's talk controllers. When it comes to RC drones, there are so many different options. But when it comes to controllers, it's a matter of deciding between the DJI RC N1, the RC, and the RC Pro. First up, we have the DJI RC N1. Taking a closer look into this controller, you'll notice that there's no screen. So you'll either have to use your phone or you can purchase a separate attachment for a tablet. On the top right, we have the record and capture button. And on the top left, we have the wheel. On the bottom, you have a USB-C charging port and then also a place to store your sticks when you take them off. Here on the front, we have the function button, the return to home button, our flight modes, photo to video mode, and finally, the power button. When you press the power button, the lights here will show you the battery level. Overall, it's a great controller for starting out and it'll get your drone through its mission. Next, we have the DJI RC. Right off the bat, you notice we have a 1080p screen so you don't have to worry about lugging your phone around. Next, we have two wheels at the top, one for digital zoom and one for adjusting settings. Staying at the top, we have the record button and the dedicated button for taking photos. One thing to note is that it has a half press option to focus. On the back, we have buttons C1 and C2 that can be customized for your liking. Also, you can see the location where you can add your sticks. Lastly, under the bottom of this flap, you will see a micro SD card slot for screen recordings as well as the USB-C charging port. Like its predecessor, the RC Pro is very similar in terms of controls and design. Overall, the controller has minor upgrades that go a long way. Below, we now have a micro HDMI port for larger displays. The 5D button is now on the front for full customization. The back and menu options are now added for Android support. The screen is also improved with a brighter 5.5 inch screen and capability to access the full Android system. You also get 32 gigabytes of internal storage in case you forget your micro SD card. The biggest upgrade is the quad antennas for extended range and longer flights. All right, so that was our review on the controller lineup for DJI. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of the power that each controller has. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.